know why do you why did you decide to volunteer here? Well, I want to make a difference to the dogs, and I'm allergic to cats. Therefore, I can't volunteer like at any of the other shelters. It eliminates them because they have the cats in the same buildings as the dogs, mm -hmm. and I need to breathe. <laughs> so. Um, and there's a big need here. It's getting less and less as more, more. They're doing more here, and the dogs are doing better with the improvements the county's made. And they're getting more volunteers in here, and so it's less urgent than it used to be to have a volunteer in here. But it still makes a big difference to the dogs. Seven, but you know, it's best to err on the side of them being younger. It makes them more. <laughs> so to pull them out, how do you usually do that? Um, I don't know. I brought my comb with me today because I was combing my own dog at home. Um, but I start and just comb out all this, and you basically want to start towards the back of a dog. So you're not just pulling it into each other, you know, like if you pull comb through your own hair, how you'll just make the knots go down and tighter. Mm -hmm. You want to start at the back of the dog generally and and work forward. But a lot of this here will come out by hand even. So They need to know what they can handle, what, what temperament they want. Whether they want, if they're expecting non-shed, they need to go with a non-shed breed. Um, they need to decide, you know, if they want a big dog, they, they're gonna have to expect a, you know, a more laid back, usually bigger dogs are more laid back, easy going. If they want a little dog, they need to expect a higher energy dog, unless it's some little lap dog that, and, they, and you know, do they want a highly intelligent that dog that they're going to have to keep busy and and train, or do they want a very outgoing, pushy dog? I mean, what's going to fit into their family? It's okay. Oh, <laughs> 